Ladies and gentlemen, as you might be able to tell by the tattoo on his uh, knee there, my brother Sweet Pepper is what we in the sideshow like to call the paint-proof man. Now what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that my brother Sweet Pepper has spent a lifetime of trying to block out everything in the world around him, no matter how good or terrible it is. It's true, he's actually learned to put his mind in a trance and put it in a place where no pain can touch him. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do for you here, tonight, at the Ontario Science Center, <laughs> is we're actually going to demonstrate for you the pain improvement. So please calm down and allow Sweet Pepper to enter into his trance. And I give you, the pain-proof man. Didn't feel a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Truly, a wonder of the modern scientific age. Right here before your eyes, children. He'll be signing autographs later on in the exhibit. No, but for real, what we've got, ladies and gentlemen, here is an ordinary, average, everyday mouse trap. Now, this works in the ordinary, average, everyday way. You take it, set the trap, snaps off, kills the mouse. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this trap and we're gonna set it off on one of Sweet Pepper Clopex's most sensitive organs. <laughs> but since it's a family friendly show. <laughs> science. <laughs> science. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll put it off on another more sensitive organ. Keep telling you what cares. Alright, so here we go. What's gonna happen here is my brother, Sweet Pepper Clover, is going to take his tongue and going to insert it into this mousetrap for science sake. <laughs> Not unlike Marie Curie. <laughs> <laughs> but also like science, he will need you to count on the count of three. Why? Well, it's also, you see this a lot in different types of uh, mysticism, in different types oh, yeah. of uh, religious zealotry, uh, uh, dervishes who would pound um, uh, daggers into their skulls, uh, people who would undergo incredible feats uh, to prove their feverishness for their religion, often do a similar thing. Uh, Buddhist monks uh, will, will train in this way, where they, they sort of enter a state where they feel something, but they're so focused on the act that they have at hand yeah. that they can override the body's uh, fight or flight conditions. Exactly. And walking over hot coals. Sometimes mm -hmm. in, um, in uh, South Asia, you'll see people pulling big, heavy carts. Yeah, who would not, do that? Not dissimilar to what you have uh, what you've done. Hooks in the back, pulling heavy carts. People can do amazing things if they sort of separate their mind from the sensations that that they we normally feel. This is by far one of those things that I tell people to, to not try at home because it is incredibly dangerous. So remember kids, stay in school. <laughs>